Breaking news from KION News Channel 546. We begin with breaking details on nearly all of our central coast wildfires tonight. The river fire south of Salinas grows and becomes more destructive, as does the Carmel fire around Kashawa, Tassajara, and approaching Carmel Valley. The Dolan fire rages on in Big Sur, and the CZU August Lightning Complex explodes once again, and UC Santa Cruz has been ordered to evacuate. This is a look at the river fire tonight. Good news, containment is up to 9%. The bad, a spot fire on the northern side grew quickly, and with the strong wind, was a threat to structures in multiple major housing developments, according to CAL FIRE. They aren't confirming exactly where this happened, but 10 structures are now considered damaged or destroyed. More rough news with the Carmel fire. 28 structures damaged or destroyed. As this grows to 4,427 acres, Containment still 0% as it burns there near Kashawa. But our top story tonight are the thousands of people ordered to leave their homes in Santa Cruz County. The CZU August Lightning Complex has burned 48,000 acres with no containment. And if you're in the city of Scotts Valley and on the UC Santa Cruz campus, leave immediately. Thanks for being here at 11 o'clock. I'm Aaron Groff. Let's get right out to John Palmentari, who's been on both sides of Scotts Valley this evening, where many residents packing up to escape that very rapidly approaching fire. And Aaron, we have been speaking to the residents in Scotts Valley just off of Highway 17, and they are very concerned about the dark cloud and the smoke they've seen just over the ridge line. As you know, that fire is very active and has burnt down some historic structures. Then we came over here to Santa Cruz, and they're even more nervous tonight. We've seen so many cars leaving here that are packed with personal belongings and people just looking back, hoping they're going to have a home here again in the next few days. And then there are still some people that still are not ready to go. The skies have been just as much as the urgent warning in Scotts Valley as the message residents have been given to leave late this afternoon. Some were out right away. Others were going to wait it out. The problem is, is that the fire is not contained. There's zero containment and we're sitting next to near ground zero. Everywhere the residents turned, firefighters from throughout the area were arriving in strike teams. They were targeting the dense hills and getting a plan together to save structures where they could. This base camp between the Big Basin National Park where all the smoke is behind me and Scotts Valley is loaded with firefighters and folks around here who say they were told to evacuate say they feel a little bit safer with all this equipment nearby. I'm going down to base camp, finding out what I can in the way of the information, then relaying it back to the neighbors and giving them an opportunity to say, well, do we stay or do we go? Several of us are staying. If we get the mandatory, then we're getting out of here. I knocked on some of my neighbors' doors to make sure they got the orders that we needed to go, and we're hopeful that everything will work out. Scotts Valley has about 14,000 residents. The word has traveled fast. Most have been expecting the notice all day based on the dark skies and rapidly deploying fire teams. For those staying the night, they're not expected to get much sleep under these threatening conditions. And it's very eerie out here tonight with so many people leaving Santa Cruz and evacuating. And a lot of people that are staying behind certainly are not only not going to get much sleep, they're hoping when they wake up they hear the sound of aircraft, which we didn't hear much of this afternoon. And that would signal the firefight has begun, and that should start at dawn. Reporting live in Santa Cruz this, this evening, I'm John Palmentary.